Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and this is part 3 of how to make a working shop in Roblox Studio. Now, I didn't really think I would be making a part 3, but after looking through the videos, I realized that there is a lot of major improvements that we can make on the shop, and also didn't show you guys how to add more items to the shop. So, let's just get right into it. So first of all, we're going to change basically the entire shop to make it better. So the first thing we can do is under replicated storage, click the plus and enter in a remote event. And just rename the remote event to buy key card. Just like that. So the next thing we can change is actually having a centralized script instead of a script under each button. It's easier to add more items. So what we can do is move this local script under the key card under the shop. So this is the current script of it. It's really bad. So let's just make a few adjustments. So first things first is grouping the variables. So over here, we can group this as player stuff. So just go down the line and then just group this as buttons. And then we're going to have another category for other. So under the buttons, write local key card button equals to script dot parent dot key card just like that so now instead of script dot parent dot mouse button one click we can remove script dot parent and then just write key card button dot mouse button one click just like that so now that we fixed the mouse button one click what we can do is actually create another grouping and we'll call this remote event and then go down the line and just write local buy key card equals to game dot replicated storage colon colon wait for child quotation marks buy key card. So we're gonna use remote events because it works better. And because we're using remote events, we don't need the player backpack anymore. So you can just delete this. And also just delete that. So the next thing we're going to fix is this part over here. Go under the player stuff. Go down line and write local leader stats equals to player dot leader stats. And then local cash equals to leader stats dot cash. Make sure that this cash right here matches with the one that you gave in the leader stats script. So here under the quotation marks it's cash with a capital C so in this script it should also be cash with a capital C so after that we can remove the player like we can remove all of this and then just write toe number and then cash dot value so we can change the string into the number and instead of player dot leader stats just directly put cash dot value so just like that so after that instead of cloning the key card from the local script what we can do by key card colon fire server and then under other you can just go down the line and then write local max key card equals to one so the number that you put here doesn't really matter because we're going to change it in the if statement later but you can just keep it as one because it works the best. So instead of script dot disabled equals to true, we can just delete that and just write max key card plus equal one. And then we can add another if, which is over here. And then we write if max key card over one then so the number in this if statement is the one that actually matters this is the one that determines how many of this item you want the player to be able to buy so we put one which means the player can only buy one key card and because of that we now need a new error message so just go to the error message duplicate that and then just replace it with max message go into the properties of it and then just change the text into maximum amount bought just like that so we can go back to here we go under the other and then write local error message 
equals to script dot parent dot error message and then go down the line and write local max message equals to script dot parent dot max message so over here we can just write max message dot visible equals to true go down the line write task dot wait and then put three seconds or however long you want the server to wait for and then max message dot visible equals to false and then go down the line and write else if max key card under equal one then and then you can copy all of this delete that and paste it in here uh, what this does is add a maximum amount that you can buy so if the player has more than one key card then we tell them that you've already bought the maximum amount uh, but if they don't have more than one what will happen is we will deduct the cash and then we will add the one to the value so it makes it more than one and then if they don't have the amount of cash then we will just tell them that they don't have enough cash but we can just change this to just error message change this to just error message and change the weight to task dot weight so this is the brand new script uh, it's certainly a little bit longer but it makes it way easier to add more uh, items to the shop and it also works better but this is only half the script the other half we also have to make right now so going to the server script service, you might notice we already have a script there. So just rename that one to leader stats and then insert a new script. So you can rename this script to shop manager. And then now we're going to write a whole bunch of variables. So first off, starting with remote events. So local buy key card equals to game dot replicated storage colon wait for child quotation marks buy key card after that go down a line and then we'll make a new category called items and then local key card equals to game dot replicated storage colon wait for child for quotation marks and key card so this one gets the remote event and this one gets the actual key card. And that is basically all the uh, variables. So go down two lines and then write by key card dot on server event colon connect function and then put brackets and then write player. Go down the line and then write local backpack equals to player dot backpack and go down the line local new key card equals to key card colon clone go down line and write new key card dot parent equals to the backpack so that is uh, basically all you need for the shop manager and then the last thing we need to do is go back to the original script and after fire server just write player so let's go test that out right now you see we can open the shop and we can buy a key card and as you can see we have a key card and you can see if we try to buy another key card it will say that we have bought the maximum amount of key cards that we can so yeah that'll be it for part three of this video in part four i'll show you guys how to easily add more items to the shop but until then i'll see you guys next time bye